sweatpants at school in the midst of puberty. One day, I was happily enjoying the feeling of an unexpected boner when I got called to the front of the class. Why were you enjoying it <laughs> in class? That's... No way, bro. That's like... That's a, that's a violation, bro. How? How is that a violation? Well, because you can't spread it anymore after that, bro. Garfield, which is G-rated, keep in mind. And then you start playing Mad Max. Which is MA15 <laughs> It just doesn't... It just looks like it's got four concussions that haircut. Yeah. You see someone walking around with that haircut and you're like, you've been knocked You've out been times. knocked out a few times. It's a special day today. Yes. You know why? It's your birthday. Because it's... It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna spend my money. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Pretty baby, come with me. Now we're recording this... On a Monday, which is odd, very late for us. It is late, but you know, it, we've been busy. We, we went have out. Been busy. We went out um, a few nights ago, and we, we were just so smashed, tired, so smashed, tired, bro. If we did the podcast yesterday, we would have. Went to the recovery room talking. yesterday, and let me tell you, it helped out a lot. Yes, but. I'm still feeling it. You know how we were talking smack about people going to the recovery room just to yeah we were just to get rid of the fright uh, of the Sunday morning scaries. Mm -hmm. We did the exact same thing. We were judging them hard when we went. Yeah, we were like, oh, we're athletes. We don't do that shit. Yeah. yeah. Why would you go to a recovering a recovery room just to just, recover from just, a night out? Yeah. And let me tell you, I needed that because yeah. you know I feel I feel alright today. I feel did pretty you good. good this morning. I swam all right. I actually didn't swim too bad. Yeah. That's good. I'm on my two-week break, by the way. Yeah. So, no no one's a non-swimmer at the moment. I'm a non-swimmer. He's got a lot of projects lined up, which is good. Yeah. We're converting this podcast studio. So, soon enough, it'll be a new season. It'll be a new season soon enough. But we're converting this podcast studio into into a bedroom for me and the podcast studio. Yes. So, we're going to be putting the podcast studio over there. Well, you don't see it at the moment, but you will see it next episode, potentially. 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 And then I'll have my bedroom in here as well, which is going to be sick. Yeah. All right. So, Nolan, I've come up with a few words, five, five. for the Making Waves spelling bee. You're going to have to spell them out. Is there a prize if I get them all right? Uh, yes, there is, because you're not going to get them all right. I can guarantee it. Wait, if I do? If Yeah, if you do, I will buy you a PS5. Shake on it. It's Let's your birthday. It. Let's do it. Let's PS5? do it. PS5? Yeah. If I get it, I get a PS5. Bet. Yeah. Let's go. Bet. You're not getting it, mate. All right. So, word number one on the Making Waves spelling bee. Conscientious. Conscientious. I'm not getting an Xbox. Okay. So Xbox? Con- you're not getting an Xbox. Uh, you get a PS5. 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 Conscientious. Conscientious. Use it in the sentence. I am a conscientious objector. Okay. C O N. Yes. C. No. S. Conch. No. T. Conch. Come on, spell it out. Conscientious. You gotta go. You gotta go. Do it like the spelling bee in what they do it like when you were younger. You go conscientious, C O N, da 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 da, and then you say the word again when you're finished. Come on. Conscientious, C O N T H H No, C O N, I'll be really stuff. C O N C H I E Conch That's time over, mate. <laughs> mate, right, I'm not gonna let you way. I'm not gonna let you take up our whole time yeah. trying to spell out conscientious. Okay, what's conscientious C O N S C I E N T I O U S I don't know how you didn't get that. That's probably the easiest one here. Is it? Or maybe not. Oh, but... I told you to make this easy. No, you told me to make it hard for you. All right, keep going. All right, sacrilegious. Sacrilegious. C A 
CK. No, no, no. C A. Uh, sacrilegious. S A K. R E L I. G. I. U. S D. Bro, what the heck? Are you being serious right now? Like, what is this spelling? <laughs> Bro, sacrilegious. S A C, not K. R I L E G I O U S. Religious. You know how to spell religious? It's just sac in front of religious. Okay. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right. This one you'll know because of your French speaking background. Yeah. Minuscule. 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 I can't even say it. <laughs> um, M I N I. No, M I S. Minuscule. <laughs> Fuck, I'm an idiot. Minuscule. M I N E S S M I N E Don't read my face. M I N I E S C H No, no. no. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Miniesque. What the heck is that? I uh, so, dude, that that's finished. You can't you, I'm not going to give you another attempt at that word. You've been gone for like 3 minutes trying to spell this word. No, th those are hard words. I Minuscule. The haters are going to be like, M oh, these are easy I N U S C U L E. Bro, the haters are going to be like, oh, these, I knew it, I knew it, when their IQ is literally. All right, this, surely you get this one. Yeah. Liaison. 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 L E. Wait, spell the word out phonetically right now. Liaison. L-E-A. L-E-A. Liaison. Okay. Liaison. You know what a liaison is? No. It's like, you know, at school when they had the liaison, liaison officer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to spell that shit. Liaison. Bro, I've never used liaison in my life. Bro, I'm not going to make you spell egg, am I? It's not. It's not. Liaison. L. E. H. No. Lee. L. E. I. Bro, no. L. E. A. Z. Are you? Are you actually trying? S. Brother. I'm gonna get so much hate for it. I'm getting. I'm getting. All right, this one you have to get this one. Okay. I have to. This is. This is I, I, I was actually banking on the fact that you'd get three out of the four I just did right for this one. This one's really easy. Okay. Anti disestablishmentarianism. How the fuck is that easy? I can't even remember when you said the start. <laughs> I'm joking. This one's the hardest one. Anti. Anti disestablishmentarianism. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to say the first four letters and then you're going to say the rest of the word, okay? Okay. A N T I. Okay. Anti. Anti disestablishmentarianism. I fucking forgot what you said at the start. <laughs> this. This okay, anti dis yes, and what's next, bro? We're not gonna do this. No, no. Actually, I'm getting, I'm getting this word right, bro. Okay, well then do it. Anti dis is 
this is anti disestablishmentarianism. How the fuck is that a word? It's a word. Anti this is okay. This wait, say again. Anti anti disestablishmentarianism. This is okay. D I S I S I A B L I S H M E N T I S M. You just skipped half the word. Anti this this is this is sab this is establishment. No, this anti disestablishmentarianism. Right, I can't even get that word. I don't think anyone could. I'm not going to spell it out. Could you? Uh, w would you be able to do it? Even looking at it right now? I think I would have gotten the first four right. I probably would have gotten that one wrong. Just because... Actually, maybe not. Maybe I'd give you some spell. Yeah, give me... It's actually harder than you give, think. Uh, give me... Because you're on the spot, right? And you're like, holy sh... Like, your mind just goes blank. Give me two. Okay? Yeah, I'll give you two words. Um, Let me just get it up. I think I have to probably cut this out. That are like the similar level to what you did. I'm going to put year nine level. No, don't do year nine. That's not year nine level. That's I'd say that's year 11, year 10. Year 10 level. Year 11. Year 11. See, I dropped down in year 11. <laughs> year 11. <laughs> I feel like your, your, mental, your mental capacity dropped out in grade nine, though. Year 11 is spelling, yeah. Going off what year you just did there. Year 11 spelling B words. The problem is I don't even know how to pronounce them. Apogiatura. A what? Apogiatura. Apogiatura. Yeah. A P O G I A T U R A. Bow bow. Okay, go. A P P O G G I A T U R A. Vivisepulcher. Vivisepulcher. Bro, I gave you words that you'd use sometime in your life. When am I going to use... When the fuck am I going to use that last word? Liaison. No, the last word. The last word was just... It, it was just when like a little I challenge. would I ever use that word? I would never use that word. Bro. Do you use conscientious? You would use conscientious. No, I've never Liaison. used that word. I've never used that word. Anti disestablishmentarianism, you wouldn't use. I would never have used that word ever. But at least you'd be able to spell it. I think we move on. True fact. Okay, so I've been doing my reading. You've been doing your reading. Oh, and surprise, surprise, you've been doing your reading, mate. I'm currently reading this new book. It's about the Dark Ages. Yeah. Um, when we crossed the first millennium. And a lot of people thought. They were going to die. Yeah. It was like in 2000, when we got from, when we went from 1999 to 2000, a lot of people thought we were going to die because of like Antichrist or whatever. So there's actually a story of in the Kingdom of Francia, which is Spell that out. Francia. Kingdom of Francia. No, the Kingdom of oh. Francia. <laughs> Like I can spell it out, but it's a lot. Um, so in that kingdom, there was this rule amongst kings and everyone that to be a king, you had to have long hair. Hence why when you watch like night movies, you never see someone with a shaved head. Yeah. They never go through that Jimbro era, you know, they just keep their hair long. So, so we couldn't be kings right now. No, not, not right now. But we're kings internally. Yeah. Yeah. So there was this king, or there was this guy who wanted to be king, sorry. And he, the king had long hair, and he had long hair, and he wanted to be king. But he didn't know how to do it. So he usurped the throne, right? And in order for everyone to not like the king that was the king before, he shaved his head. And then everyone started hating the king. 
which is so weird. Like, why would you hate the king all of a sudden just because he shaved his head? Yeah. That's Back then, if you had long hair, you were like a noble. Or whatever. But I don't get that either. Because if you were poor, you wouldn't be able to buy a haircut back then. So, And clippers weren't yeah. a thing. So I don't know how that worked. Anyways, so he shaved the guy's head. And then the guy became king. And you know who that guy's son was? No. Charlemagne. Have you heard of him? Yes. Charlemagne. Charle- that was his name. His name wasn't actually Charlemagne. His name was Charles. And Le Magne, Le Magne, that means the great in ancient Latin. So, if if old mate didn't shave the king's head in order to become king, Charlemagne wouldn't have, wouldn't have existed. And I don't think France would have been the same. So, that's your history fact for the week, brother. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Speaking of friends, we watched that movie last night. Bro, that was some Such stuffed up shit. shit. What was it called? Sharks. Uh, no, Under Paris. Under Paris. Yeah. Which was about sharks. Sous Paris. Paris. Yeah. It was Under Paris. Bro, it was the most movie. stupid movie I've ever seen. Even more stupid than you trying to guess words yeah. on the spelling bee. Now, Jillian, it's time to have a debate. Wait, no, let's talk about the movie. Let's talk about. Talk about yeah, let's talk about. What is that to talk about? Well, it's viral at the moment. I don't it's get why it's viral. Shit. It's a shit movie. Yeah, bro. I think I could make a better movie by just using my little camera and filming this podcast. Yeah, I mean, and we get a lot of shit. Yeah, a lot of shit. So but first of we're all, we're about to get a lot of shit for my spelling. Yeah, a lot of it because this is what I don't get with shark movies, right? There's Sharknado, right? Have you watched Sharknado? Yes. It's the most. Sharknado. Inaccurate. Well, shark, um, movie. What else oh, is there? There's The Meg. Yeah. There's Swimming Under the Sea. There was this other one we stopped watching halfway through because it was the most stupid. Yes, shit. because realistically, sharks don't attack you like that. Yeah. And, like, why would there be sharks in a tornado? Or why would there be sharks in Paris where it's fresh water? I don't get it. Like... I know the attraction to the movie is people getting eaten. But then, are we really that civilized? Yeah. If we were a civilized society, why are we watching people getting eaten up by sharks? In a mass. It's entertaining. Was it entertaining? No, not really. I wasn't really entertained. I was getting pissed off. Are you not entertained? That's the question. Yes. Okay, Kellyn, when I was away competing at the Olympic trials, I was looking for stuff to eat in the pantry and in the fridge. There wasn't anything because we were away. Yeah. Which made me come up with a list of does this belong in the fridge or does this belong in the pantry? Okay. I've made a list. I've created a list. And we're going to... We're going to put them in the... This is this is your opinion, not what we have here, right? Yeah. Okay. At home, okay. Yeah. This is your personal opinion. My personal opinion, yes. Because I don't want us to have the same opinions on everything. Mm. All right. Does chocolate belong in the fridge or in the pantry? I think it belongs in the fridge. This is my chain of thought. The the. Communal chocolate for at home is in the fridge. My chocolate for when I want my chocolate is not in the fridge. It's in my room. That shit's hidden away from the rest of the family so then I don't eat my chocolate. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? I agree. But why is... Like, okay, if you were to live by yourself, where would you store the chocolate? We're not talking about now. Where would you store the chocolate? Because I would store it in the fridge because, right, when you open up the fridge, right, and you take a bite of chocolate from the fridge, it tastes so fresh. Yeah. It doesn't feel I like... I am going to put It doesn't chocolate. feel like it was just shoved up God's asshole. I'm going to put the chocolate in the fridge. Yes. It just Number, feels yes, a lot... I agree. ...cooler. Yeah. You know? Mm. Yes. Okay, next one is apples. Do they belong in the pantry or the fridge? In the fridge, mate. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I hate, it's my pet peeve, I hate when people 
go buy apples and just put them... They don't put them in the fridge. The only thing I don't like with that is when you bite into an apple, you kind of get, like, teeth freeze. Do you get that? Teeth freeze? Well, like, when you... you have sensitive teeth. Maybe, I think. Because I don't get that. Because, like, when I bite into the apple, it hurts the tooth. Oh, I used to have sensitive teeth, but not anymore. What do you mean you used to? How does that work? I don't know. It just doesn't happen anymore. I'm just, I just be- grew up out of the phase, mate. Okay. It's just still a child. It's a phase. Yeah. Yeah. Maple syrup. Does that belong in the fridge or the pantry? Oh, I'm going to be honest. I think it doesn't belong in the fridge. I think it does belong in the fridge. It tastes better. How does it taste better? It just does. I get it with chocolate, but I don't get it with maple syrup. Because maple syrup, right, you pour it on pancakes. Your pancakes are hot. You don't want your maple syrup to be hot, to be cold as well. It's like a... No, I'd rather it be cold. It's like a nice difference. So you like the contrast of cold yeah, like and hot. The contrast of cold and hot. See, that's so psychopathic. How? When do you do that? I do that. When does someone do that? The only time you do that is when you have ice cream with a brownie. And then I, I feel like it just eats... It melts and it turns into a brownie soup, which is just disgusting. Yeah. So, contrast between cold and hot? No. Okay. Next one. Peanut butter. Pantry. Pantry? Mm-hmm. I've had peanut butter in the fridge before. It's. Are you serious? serious? Yeah. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. In the pantry? No, in the fridge. Uh, in the fridge, sorry. Yeah, in the fridge. Cold peanut butter. It's hard enough to eat as it is. Bro, imagine if peanut butter was cold. Well, you, bro. Bro, people back me up on this. Peanut butter belongs in the It'd fridge. be like trying to eat cement. I think... Okay, in our house, it's in the pantry, which is fine. I'll eat it. Whatever. I'll still... I'll, I will eat... The peanut butter. But I think, personally, if I was living by myself, I would put the peanut butter in the fridge because then it would just... I like eating cold shit. No way, bro. That's like... That's a, that's a violation, bro. How? How is that a violation? Well, because you can't spread it anymore after that, bro. You put it in the fridge, it's like a brick. It turns into a solid, bro. Mm. It turns back into a peanut. No. Yes. You're just weird, mate. Bro, you put peanut butter in the fridge and you might as well be eating peanuts. Yeah, and I like peanuts. Yeah, I do. But not when Where they're butter go? re... Uh, where does butter go? Huh? Where does butter go? What? Where does butter go? Oh, fridge but butter? Fridge? In the fridge, because it melts. Okay, peanut butter. Th- that is the most low IQ thing I've heard, heard you say in your life. Peanut butter is not the same as butter, just because it's got butter in the name. Bro. No, it's butter. Do you know what butter stands for? You know what else has the same word, but isn't the same thing? Right? Yeah. Meat and vegan meat. Do you think it's the same thing? The fuck does that... That doesn't even... It's got meat in it. It's got meat in the word. What does butter mean? Without... Butter. Yeah. Butter is like... It's, butter is butter, bro. No. What does butter mean? I'm going to search it butter up. Butter is butter. What else is butter other than butter? It's milk that's been melted... No. Milk that's been heated into butter. What does butter mean? I'm, I'm gonna. It's not gonna give you a definition because it it probably already assumes you know what butter is. It's not gonna give you a Google translation. It's not give me a Google translation. Yeah, uh, not translation. Fine. Sorry, I'm a fucking idiot. You are. Peanut butter and butter I'll is tell not you the else same is thing. An idiot. You for making up a stupid spelling bee list. It didn't make sense. It did. Everyone knows what okay, all those words list. are except the last Mustard. one. Mustard. Does it belong in a fridge or does it in belong the in the fridge, bro? I agree with you. Yes. Yes. We can agree on that one. Okay. Mustard belongs in the fridge. Pickles. In the fridge. Yes, and oh, yeah, in the fridge. Yeah, in the fridge. And last one, bread. I don't know why the. <laughs> why would? What kind of psycho would put bread in the fridge? Maybe to keep it fresh. Bro. <laughs> no. He was bread. In the no fridge. way, bro. <laughs> bread in the fridge. Dude, if you put bread in the fridge, hit us up. Don't. Don't don't hit us it's up. Probably actually. one of my haters to be. Yeah. Honest. I haters put above them bread in the fridge. Yeah. Okay, 
So last week, Om and I went to the cinema twice because we found the GOAT, the GOAT of all cinemas. $15 entry, $15 tickets for a seat that reclines. That's low-key kind of standard. But not for a seat that reclines. The seat reclined and it was so comfy. The comfiest chair I've ever sat on. We were by ourselves in the cinema. No one else. 15 bucks for that shit. That's some get, nice get service? Type shit. No, we didn't. But my one complaint is when there are only two people who enter your business, they buy tickets to watch Garfield, which is G rated, keep in mind. <laughs> and then you start playing Mad Max. Which is MA15 Plus. <laughs> it just doesn't... <laughs> I mean, I watched it to the end. I was kind of happy that it was Mad Max. Yeah. But it just didn't really make sense. I was like, bro, you had what? You have one job. So pretty much you paid for a ticket for Garfield and they just played it's another like movie. playing Mad Max. I've never heard of that before. And since we were the only ones in the in the actual cinema, yeah. we just were like, oh, you know what? We'll just keep playing it because it's fine. Yeah. But it was like significantly longer. It was like an hour longer, the movie. Was it good? Yeah, it was Mad good. Max. Uh, was it Furiosa? Look, I'll, yeah. I'll give you my artist rating. It's a bit too gory in my liking. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I, I, the scenes were a bit weird. Confronting. Yeah, confronting. Yeah. I give it a rating out of 6 out of six out of 10, only because Fortnite more, like, collab. Yeah. Fuck IMDB. Nolan's a new rating for movies. Yeah. Don't go to IMDB. And then we went go to, to, to Nolan. We watched, the first time we went to go watch um, Bad Boys. Yeah. And holy shit. That was a good movie. Like, usually you watch action movies and they have, like, always, they always have, like, the same camera shots sitting. Yeah. Kind of gets boring after a while. Yeah. But they switched shit up in that movie. Yeah, I, I saw a video of Will Smith shooting the video and and there's, like, a part where he's got, like, the gun and he's walking around. Yeah. There. It's like, it's like in a video game. Yeah. It's sick. Like, the action shots are sick. There's POV shots of them walking around as well. It's so funny. Yeah. And yeah, I give that movie a rating nine out of ten. Did you have the Bad Boys theme song stuck in your head after? Yeah, that? Bad Boys, Bad, bad boys, boys, what, what you gonna, gonna do? What, what you gonna do when they come for you? you? Bad so, yeah. Boys, Bad Boys. If you're a real special man, also, I went in there thinking I was gonna see Messi. Oh yeah, where was he? Because I didn't see him. Did he? Was he not there? No. What was that? Was he in the credits? No. Because apparently, because there's like the meme. Messi is like, hey boys. Hey boys. Hey boys. Bad boys. But it didn't show up. So they must have been like, bro, sounds like an actual minion. Let's not put him in. Mm -hmm. They must have paid so much for that as well. Mm. Bro, that's a, that's a $1 million dollar bad boys. I don't know why they didn't put him in. Yeah. Maybe it was not good enough. Maybe his voice was too much like minions and they got, they got sued by the minions. Yesterday, I was touching my hand. Oh, no, no, no. Yesterday. <laughs> what the, the fuck? The other day, I was like, you know, you want your Garcus? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, what? Wait, what was the title again? If a haircut was a sport. Mm -hmm. So, it say, like, I, I've made a list here. That just makes sense. You know? Yeah. I mean? Yeah. I don't, I don't even need to explain it. Yeah. If, okay, my first one is mullet. What mullet. sport is mullet? Footy. Footy. What type of footy? Rugby. Oh, ball. like the most... I feel like you'd have to do rugby league. Rugby league? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. It just looks like it's got four concussions, that haircut. Yeah. You see someone walking around with that haircut, and you're like, you've been knocked out. You've been times. knocked out a few times. To get that haircut, you'd need to have been... It depends what mullet, though. Like, some mullets are all right. Yeah, like, a subtle mullet isn't too bad. Yeah. But if you're, like, a... F we're talking full-on mullet. Straight hair mullet. Straight hair mullet, yeah. Like the Australian mullet. Mm. Not the, you know, the curly one. Yeah. Okay, so the straight hair mullet is 
um, rugby league. Rugby league. You're it's some Brock sent seventy type shit. Yeah, a hundred percent. Brock sent seventy definitely has a he mullet. Definitely reps a mullet. Yeah. So we like Brock sent seventy. Yeah. We like him. Yeah. No, we don't like his N70. That's pretty trash. No, but we, we like him. We like him. Yeah. We love you, Brock. Okay. The buzz cut. I I think if you have a buzz cut, you're just an all-round athlete. The buzz cut, the, for some reason, the first thing that came to mind was a tennis ball. <laughs> but it's not tennis, bro. It is tennis. No, it's not tennis. I think buzz cut is tennis. No way. No way, bro. I think I think buzz cut. I would say swimming. No, I would say swimming. But no, that's just because you have one. That's just because I have one. So I think a buzz cut. It gives me lacrosse vibes. Decathlon. Decathlon. No lacrosse. Look, no lacrosse is side part, bro. Side part. Yeah. Oh yeah, actually that's true. Um. Buzz cut. Let's go soccer because there's a lot of black yeah, people in yeah, soccer. Okay. soccer and football. Football, mate. Football, and I think yeah, um, a lot of black people have buzz cuts. All right, French crop. French crop. Oh, that's tennis, bro. No, nah, that's not tennis. That's so tennis. No, nah, that's pickleball. Pickleball. <laughs> what? Why? You know what pickleball is. Yeah, I know what I know what pickleball is, but I think why? It's pickleball. That's so random. No, I think French crop is pickleball. Okay. Yeah, do you agree? I don't agree. No, okay. What do you think? French it? crop? Uh, F1. Oh, oh, that's a good shout. Yeah, true. That's a good shout. Now, we're not talking about the people who have the haircut, you know? We're talking about the actual... If the French crop was a, a driver, you know? Yeah, if the French crop was an athlete. Yeah. Yeah. Side part. Lacrosse. Lacrosse, yeah. Yeah. But it has to be a side part that's like patted down yeah. with gel. Yeah, you like you're a pro school boy. Yeah, you, you can't have his, his hair past his ears or whatever. You go, you go to like Harvard. Yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. you're in America. All right, middle part. Surfing. Nah, surfing is a longer hair. I think it's a longer hair. Middle part would be. Middle part. I think... I just think middle part's too basic for it to be a sport. Yeah. Middle part's too... It's it's not niche enough. Yeah. Long hair, middle part, surfer. Long hair, middle part, surfer. Short hair, middle part, swimmer. Swimmer, yeah. I um, swimming. Otherwise, I don't know. Yeah. Bro, you used, to have a, you used to have a bang in middle part. I don't know why you got rid of it, bro. Bro, I kind of looked like... That mammoth from Ice Age, though. Nah, you uh, you you suited that that middle part, bro. Really? All right, taper fades. Taper fade. I don't think I don't think you'd do a sport if you have a taper th- fade. Yeah, you're you're ninja. Ninja. Yeah, long a uh, uh, what a uh, taper fade. How about my little taper fade. Low taper fade. Um, you know my little taper fade bean. No, maybe. Okay, maybe you're in two. Um. What was the name? Maybe you're into go karting. Oh, oh, yeah. that's a shout. That's a shout. Yeah, if you have a tape of fade, you're you into go go karting. No, if the tape of fade was a, a sport, yeah. yeah. So you're you're a go kart. You're a go karter. Yeah, you are. I see it. All right. The Mohawk. You're a BMX rider. BMX, hundred percent. BMX. BMX or motocross? Yes. And and you you know what you walk around with um, with the fox shirts as well. Yeah, and you have like eight to twelve screws in your foot. And you also drink Monster every yeah. two every two hours. You say Monster's the shit. Yeah, <laughs> where it tastes like gasoline. Yeah, and then and then you pretend to drink Red Bull to get to try get sponsored, but you won't because yeah. you you rep a mohawk and and you snatch your foot at times. Yeah. All right. The bowl cut. The bowl cut. Ah, uh, bro. You're a, you're a surfer too. You're too young to have a sport yet. No, you're a little... You're, you're, you're a grom. You're a grommy. That's true. You're a grommy. Yeah, yeah. You skate and you surf. Mm. All right. Last one is the man bun. 
The man bun. Yoga. Your sport, your sport. Yoga is women. No yoga. I feel like yoga and women go hand in hand. Yeah. So your like, sport yeah. is yoga. Yeah. You wear the tightest. No, no. You wear boardies everywhere. Boardies everywhere. No shirt. And and you're also vegan mm. most of the time. You're vegan. You live in a van. Yeah. You. Yeah. In your Instagram bio, it says, "Live life a day at a time." Yeah. Or. Or you quote Jason Momoa. Mm. Or you live by him. It's a senior bio. Yeah. Or you you have a um, you also have a chain with a. Cross. Across. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Now, at the end of the episode, Gun. Yes. I have two Reddit stories. Like a lot. Again? Yes. Okay. No, Let's like two episodes. Hash them out. Hash them out. So, the first one is wild. Okay. Okay. I'm going to read it and then I'm going to. They're going to be descriptive again, just like I said. Yeah. They're very descriptive. Bro. Overly Holy descriptive. Shit. Overly descriptive. This one is overly descriptive. Holy shit. Okay. I wore sweatpants to school in the midst of puberty. One day, I was happily enjoying the feeling of an unexpected boner when I got called to the front of the class. I thought that dropping my pencil and picking it up would buy me some time for my dick to go down. So that's what I did. Hey, no, I wait, wait, wait. To, no, no, Why no. were you enjoying it <laughs> in class? That's... Enjoy <laughs> yeah. I'd stress out. <laughs> yeah. I'd be stressing. I'd be trying to get it down, bro. When I bent down to pick up my pencil, however, I unleashed an obnoxiously loud fart <laughs> and I immediately stood up straight. All eyes were on me and my tenting pants and the teacher told me to sit down. Holy shit. And this guy deserved that. How do you happily Bro, enjoy this that? Guy, this guy should get into poetry, dude. <laughs> that was so disgusting. His tenting pants. Bro, this guy's a lyrical genius. I love fucking Reddit stories because they're so descriptive. It makes them ten times funny. I don't understand why people would write that on Reddit, though. Why not? Like, why? I don't know. I've started listening to a podcast. It's called um, Reddit Stories or whatever. It's, yeah. it's, it's, good, it's a good podcast. Yeah. And their stories are just as descriptive, as descriptive as that. I don't understand. The people on Reddit are like a different breed. <laughs> yeah. Bro, they're, they're keyboard warriors, bro. They're, the, they're, the descript- they're people like that guy. Yeah. Bro. All right, next story. No, wait, what? Wait. Can't you Can tuck we- it? What do you do when you have one in public? Tuck it? Yeah, you tuck it. Why would you keep it tenting like he was? Because he was enjoying it. Yeah, but but... was bro sitting like this? <laughs> oh yeah, this shit's good. I'm loving this in class right now. <laughs> I'm sitting next to the boys and I've got a tenting, tenting boner right now. Bruh. I don't understand. That's too much. And how does, how does it go down that quickly? I can't deal with that, mate. Mine doesn't go down that quickly. Yeah, it wouldn't. It takes a while. Yeah. Alright. Next one. That time, my old roommate told a table full of his family that AIDS and cancer are the same thing. Just talking about how much he's been learning from his night classes. Those classes were being paid for by his parents, and spoiler alert, he wasn't attending any classes. They realized it by the time dinner was over. We're fucking idiots. What? I I didn't get that story. I didn't get it. Okay, I'm going to read it again. My old roommate told a table full of his family that AIDS and cancer are the same thing. He said that when he was talking about his night classes that he had been taking. Those classes were being paid for by his parents. And spoiler alert, he wasn't going to them. They realized it by the time dinner was over. I don't get it. Bro, how do you not get it? I don't get it. Okay. He was talking about his night classes that he was going to. And he told his parents that he loved and that AIDS and cancer were the same thing. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. I know. And he was trying to act smart because he was, he said he was, his parents were paying for his night classes. Yeah. And he wasn't going. 
Yeah. And that's how they found out. So the story is pretty much this guy's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I get it. I thought I thought there was like a punchline because you looked at you like no, finished yeah, reading it. Bro, it a, you finished reading story. it and nah, you and you looked at me and you're like, look, that's it. That's 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 that's, it. that's such a good story. This is the, the end of the podcast. <laughs> you're done. Thank you for listening. Here. Uh, for, uh, thank you for listening, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. No, you're hey, an you're an idiot.